Class of 2023, congratulations to each and every one of you. I'm Isabella Brown, and I'm so thrilled to speak with you. To write this speech, I started looking back on the beginning of my undergraduate experience. And what stuck out to me most was a thought I had over and over my freshman year, a thought I think most of you can relate to. This thought occurred to me when I would meet my friends late at night in Mud Library to study organic chemistry, when I chose to eat vegetables at the dining hall and felt so accomplished, when I realized I forgot to hit the start button on the dryer again, or when I could randomly get boba with friends without telling my parents where I was going. The thought was, this must be what being an adult is like. I truly felt I was living the best years of my life, just like back home everyone loved to tell me I would. I was living and learning myself through my successes and failures without owing explanations to anyone. In the blistering winter wind, I would waddle down Sheridan Road in a ton of layers and a big coat zipped up to my eyes, but I felt totally free. Then, it was March 15th, 2020. The pandemic emptied the streets and I found myself sitting in my elder dorm room with a dining hall meal in a box. I called my mom in tears to ask if I could come home for spring break early. After that, a different thought kept occurring to me. A thought made much more painful by the memories of those mud study rooms, the random boba trips, and the ridiculously cold winds. That thought was, is this some sick joke? I used to say that the hallmark of our class was a taste of the real world before the real world fell apart. Like the universe said, here's a little taste of freedom before everything you know is changed forever. Funny, right? But now I know that our hallmark is so much more than that. Our four year story contains one of the scariest things to happen in recent history, but it begins and ends with beauty. See, we were able to come to Northwestern and learn how it lived and breathed. We joined clubs and helped run them, figured out how to succeed in classes, took part in the culture and traditions of the campus. Then yes, we were left with the pieces. And it was terrifying to see these remains scattered before us. For me, I was especially scared for the clubs that gave me such incredible and supportive friends. What if the marching band became unrecognizable compared to before? What if the mariachi shrank until it disappeared? But now we can look back and see that we transformed Northwestern. Brick by brick, we rebuilt this community. We brought back the clubs, organizations, and traditions we got to fall in love with, with respect for what they were before, and with a vision to make them better for us and for generations to come. I'm proud to say that the marching band hit record numbers and the mariachi is going to perform at Lollapalooza this summer. And I mean, just look at how we showed the country how Wildcats fight for victory with our men's basketball team. Ours is not a story of destruction. Ours is a story of creation. And that makes us what we are, not just survivors, but visionaries. On behalf of the class of 2023, I want to deeply thank all of the faculty and staff who listened to us, lifted us up, and rebuilt Northwestern right alongside us. And the families of the graduates who raised us with the ability to fight the odds and create something so beautiful. I know personally how grateful I am to the faculty close to me who helped me succeed along the way, like Mr. Ferris, Professor Curdy, and Professor Wong, and to my family for letting me learn to be myself and endlessly supporting me when I faltered, especially my mother. Thank you all so much. And congratulations to each and every one of us for our incredible accomplishments when confronted with the so-called impossible. We were the face of Northwestern after the world changed forever, and we're leaving it better than we found it. That doesn't mean it stops here, though. I implore you to continue using your many talents, your endless passion and persistence to keep improving this community and the communities we join next. I know, if we can build this, we can build anything. Thank you, and go Cats!